Hi, my name is David Goh. I've been a motivational speaker for the last 44 years. And I remember while I was speaking on a road shows, at the fifth minute, my forehead, my whole body was sweating and I knew that something was not right. And I finished that 45 minutes. When I got down, I told my wife that something was wrong and she said, we'll go get to see the doctor. The doctor, after several checking here and then, said there's nothing really wrong with me. Says that I needed to go and get myself exercise. But when pandemic came, I couldn't go to gym anymore. And so I opted to walking. That's the closest exercise that I can do outdoor. And then I've been walking for almost two years now. What I like to do is to run a couple of screening tests for your heart. Right. And the basic screen test will include doing a resting ECG, that's an electrocardiogram, which is a heart tracing. On top of that, we'll do a stress test, which is basically a treadmill test, running on a treadmill or monitoring the heart rate, uh, and your heart rhythm and your blood pressure as well. It gives us an idea uh, of how your heart is working. Mm -hmm. Because you now, if you pass this test, I think that's great. But if you fail the test, then it may indicate a heart problem and we have to take things to the next step already. All right. Which means doing a heart scan or angiograms or whatever not, lah, if you find something there. Lah, yeah? Yeah. You can see the main pump, the left ventricle is the main pump, is contracting quite well, it's strong. Yeah? And the valves are opening and closing nicely. And the colour represents blood flow across the heart valves. And it's again, normal pattern flow. Lah. Do you know whether you have a blockage or not? That one we do, as a screening test, we do the stress test. Lah. Yeah? Sure. That's okay, so. so heart rate about 130 plus, you know, it's really good enough for me. But of course, all depends on how fit you are. Lah. If you're tired, you're out of breath, or if the monitor doesn't look good, we'll stop the test. So we'll see. We'll see how I think it's also important that, you know, you, you get yourself regularly checked up to make sure that everything's just functioning well. So essentially, Mr. Go, welcome back. Got all your test results here. Looking at it, not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your uh, stress test, you pass it flying colours and that means that the likelihood of having a blockage in the heart is low. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Yi Kok Ming, consultant cardiologist at Pantai Hospital, Kuala Lumpur. We've just completed the medical checkup with Mr. Go. This gentleman is a very healthy 67-year-old who's come to see me for a heart checkup. Now, he does not have any symptoms, but he was concerned about his heart health. And I think that's a very good thing because many times people with heart disease may not realize they have heart problems until it's too late. Coronary artery disease is the number one killer in Malaysia and its incidence is rising with age. So I normally would recommend most of my patients to come for a checkup at least once a year above the age of 50. Of course, if you have multiple risk factors, if you have diabetes, strong family history, it may be prudent to come for a checkup at an earlier age.